Hi guys, it's Miss Tanish One, and this is a video about my braces. See, I don't know if you guys can see them because they're the clear braces, but um, I wanted to get this video out before I put out my hair video. I recorded a hair video um, last weekend, and a lot of editing needs to be done on it and um, I have to do a voiceover so before I even get all of these comments about my new sound or my new lisp um, I wanted to come and explain the situation. So the hair video is about my new hairstyle and I purposely have on this wrap because I didn't want to get any questions about my hair in this video. Um, it is my whole entire hair regimen and I also show the products that are my staple products. So that video is coming. I just wanted to let you guys know that when I do the voiceover I will talk with a lisp. So um, let's talk about these braces that I have on my teeth. If you're considering getting braces the first thing that you need to do is consult with your dentist and take the necessary precautions to do all the work that you need to do before you get the braces. Get my wisdom teeth pulled. I had to replace my fillings. Um, a lot of my fillings were leaking so he replaced the majority of my silver fillings with the white fillings. I believe that was all that I needed to do. The next step is to go get your consultation and you want to go to a lot of places. Me in particular, I went to three different orthodontists and I went with the last one that I found. I went to two private and um, one just general orthodontist. The place that I chose was Western Dental. Now, I chose Western Dental because that particular orthodontist, um, he was pretty much real with me. Because the other orthodontists, they promised me like, oh, we can do it in one year, we can do it in 14 months, this and that. And they didn't tell me a lot of other things that was wrong with my mouth and that I needed fixed. So the other, the private orthodontists, I mean, they had like, they had like flat screen TVs everywhere, like displaying my teeth, like all on the flat plant panel and this and that. And it was just like, I don't know, it just didn't seem genuine. It was like a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo just to get your money. So, and then the payment plans that they were offering me were like really, really expensive. So, I don't know, I wasn't really feeling them. So, by the third time, um, I talked to my friend who is a gentle, a dental hygienist. And she was like, you know, Tanish, braces are braces. Why don't you try to go with Western Dental because they have a good track record. So when I went in there, it was very, like, it was cool. Like, he didn't have, they don't have the big flat plant panels with your teeth displayed everywhere all around the room. He took a mirror to my mouth and he was like, bam, 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 this is what is wrong. And he was actually the first person that mentioned that I needed a bite plate. So... Let's go into the treatment that he gave me. Okay, my treatment. <laughs> um, one of the reasons why they don't get prices for braces is because it depends on your treatment. I didn't realize this. When I kept trying to do research online, I could not really get an exact price of how much I needed to pay. And that's because everyone's treatment is different. So my treatment the treatment that is, you know, tailored to my mouth, I have what's called a deep bite. And a deep bite is basically, you picture your front teeth right here and this is your bottom teeth. And usually the normal mouth, their teeth, the front teeth will cover just like a few millimeters. But mine, my front teeth covers my entire bottom row of teeth. So that's called a deep bite. I have an extreme deep bite because it covers um, all of my front teeth. And um, I also have extreme crowding to the bottom. So because of the deep bite, um, I couldn't get the bottom row of braces on my teeth until my bite plate came in and they had to make it and do molds and everything. Um, the bite plate, 
he I knew that I needed one but I didn't know the extreme of having a bike plate I tried to look it up but I couldn't find a lot of information on what exactly a bike plate is I mean I know what it does but no one really told me the real deal about having a bike plate and that's why that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to kind of do a braces video because there's a lot of videos out there but I really could not find um, a person who has to wear what I have in my mouth which is a bike plate. I had my front row of braces. Um, I've already had these for well over a month and I got the bottom row and my bike plate um, installed about a week, a week ago. So I'll insert a picture right here of what my bike plate looks like. the bike plate that's right here I don't know if you guys can see it but <laughs> this bike plate <laughs> so much changed <laughs> has changed since I've had this bike plate like I can't even explain it um I can't eat I'm on basically a liquid diet because my teeth no longer touch. I can't chew. I can only swallow food and I don't know like I didn't really understand that until it actually got installed and they didn't tell me that I wouldn't be able to chew. I don't know if you guys understand the seriousness of the situation when I say that I cannot chew. I cannot chew. <laughs> um, the estimated time for the bite play is eight months to one year that I'll have to wear this in my mouth. It is not removable. Um, that's one of the big things. And I don't know, like, you know, I've just been dealing with it the best way that I can. Um, I don't know, the only good news is that I've lost already five pounds in one week. The bite plate is the reason that I talk with a lisp now. Um, it's about a half an inch thick and it sits right on the roof of my mouth and it's attached to equipment in the back. And you guys can see it, but I speak like this now not because of having braces. I mean braces do interfere with your speech like with your S's and your F's and like some other sounds that are produced right on the tip of the mouth but the bite plate interferes with all sounds that are produced in the roof of the mouth so I just I had to pray guys cuz last week I, I was going through something because I was hungry like I couldn't eat I had to completely change my diet I cannot chew so um it was kind of a good thing because I was at the heaviest that I have been in my whole entire life um I'm five foot ten and a half and I've always maintained around 150 or 155 pounds um I've always been pretty much tall and pretty slim but um, you know, I moved into this apartment, I have like this big old kitchen, and I love to cook, and I love to eat, and my portions started getting bigger and bigger, so I gained a lot of weight, so um, I was 100, I got up to 165 pounds, yeah, that's a lot, but um, just from one week of having this bite place played in my mouth, and having to liquefy my foods, and um, I've already dropped five pounds so I'm down to 160. I'll probably drop um, a lot more weight because my diet has completely changed. Um, there will not be like any type of meat in my diet and I've only been consuming salmon because it's soft. So um, I don't know. I'll, I'll go into all the eating and stuff like that later. Let's talk more about the braces themselves. I wasn't a good candidate for um, Invisalign because I needed, it was so much wrong. Uh, my condition was pretty severe with the crowding and the deep bite. So Invisalign was out of the, uh, out of the question. Um, they recommended, the all three places recommended clear braces on the top and silver on the bottom. But as you see, I don't have silver on the bottom. 
and that was a mistake so I when I went in last week I was in the chair and it wasn't like my regular orthodontist I was working on my mouth because I went in on a Saturday it's a different team at Western Dental I kid you not I lay down to relax and the, the little dental hygienist I don't know whatever they are she was talking to me and I smiled she was like oh clear braces and I'm like yeah I love them like you can't even really see them so I think she was she didn't realize that my treatment was silver on the bottom so when she was saying clear braces and I agreed with her I guess she went and got all the equipment for the clear braces and she put clear braces on the bottom when the treatment you know recommended the other places recommended silver because with the clear braces they aren't as abrasive as the silver braces are and it's a little bit harder to correct extreme crowding um not harder to correct but it takes a longer time with the clear braces so i didn't even really call and complain because i don't know it wasn't really my fault but it was like when she asked me i was like yeah but i didn't know that she was talking about that so um i really haven't said anything yet when i go back um towards the end of the mar in the march i'm gonna ask you know my orthodontist you know how will this affect my treatment and the time limit and everything like that there's uh one thing i forgot to mention um i have a molar that i had extracted which is you guys can see it and um never get a molar extracted never ever ever do that it is such a hassle and really expensive when you go to get the space filled and i have to get a bridge and having that molar pool was another reason why my teeth started moving in the first place and it just it turned into something worse than it could have been if i just would have saved my tooth but at the time um which was five years ago i didn't have the fifteen hundred dollars to pay for a root canal as far as pain i haven't like really experienced experienced a lot of pain like with the braces my teeth are super sensitive to anything hot and cold and other than a little bit of pressure like there's no kind of pain or anything on um, the inside of my cheeks um are getting kind of like blister not blister but they have all types of cuts and everything like that but they give you wax and they recommend wearing wax but i don't like wax uh, I don't really care for it because it comes off and I end up like swallowing it or something and I just really don't know how healthy that is. But um, that's pretty much all. I will... Um, <laughs> I will insert some pictures so that you guys can get like a clearer view of how the clear braces actually look. And I will probably update you guys with another video on my braces probably in another three or four months. Um, and I'll compare how much, you know, my teeth have moved within the last few months. Oh, and my braces cost, it costs extra for clear. Um, for me, the cost was about $4,300, but that didn't include the bottom braces. That was with the silver braces. So if I had a paid for, if I would have paid for silver on top and bottom, um, just add an extra $350. So it would have been $46.50. Just let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm sorry that I talk with a list, but I wanted to really just make it clear like on my future videos why I might sound like this. Oh, and um i have a speech therapist that comes into my classroom at work and i was trying to get some advice for them but they just told me that my mouth would soon adjust to it and that you wouldn't really notice the lisp that i have but i don't know they told me to give it about two weeks to a month and i should be talking normal normal again but we shall see so um i will see you guys in my next video i'm about to edit it right now and it is a hair video so all right bye guys